Jake Shoemaker says he was given two choices, go outside for the walkout or stay in the commons. They've made it in such a way to where if you went outside, you were for the protest, which was gun control and gun violence. And if you didn't go and sat in the commons, you were pro-gun violence. Instead, saying he stayed in his classroom and says he was suspended only for that. I wouldn't say that I was suspended for not participating, but I was suspended for having something of a small protest of my own. Here's what the district says about that letter's allegations posted on the internet about the suspension, which they say was taken out of context. The accusations are what make it false. This student or in any student was not um, suspended due to walking out or not walking out. It's the allegations that the school district suspended somebody because they chose not to participate that makes this 100% false. This suspension letter on social media has taken a life and an agenda all its own. It felt like a no-win situation for me to where I would be judged by my peers or stand up for something I don't believe in. Jake says his friend posted the letter which went viral overnight. Tens of thousands of people shared it and many readers inundated the Hilliard schools along with the shoemakers phones. My voicemail is filled with comments and calls, some pretty nasty to be honest with you, vulgar language. The shoemakers say their phone calls were even more threatening. Some of the phone calls I got people thought I was a principal. I've even had like a couple death threats.